At Second Helpings, we are very proud of our dishroom. As a Second Helpings volunteer, you will be working in one of the most modern dishrooms in our city, while at the same time providing delicious, nutritious meals to our clients. So come on, let me show you a few things. Before we start, the dishroom needs to be set up with a few basics. There should be mats on the floor, a trash can in place near the door, a large gray trash bag for recycling, a plastic tub for utensils half filled with soapy water, your tools near the sink, and lots of dish trays under the counter. At the other end of the dish machine where the clean dishes come out, you can see that the counter is clear and not blocked by any backed up trays. If that ever happens, just remove them and the machine will restart automatically. And here's our three-part sink. If it isn't filled and looking sanitary, be sure to tell one of our kitchen staff. Now let's talk about putting some rinse dishes through the dish machine. Preparation and speed are the keys to keeping up the flow. First, you'll want to turn on the garbage disposal. Start prepping the dishes by scraping any leftover food and grease into the trash can. Use the sprayer above the sink to remove as much remaining food as possible. All dishes must go through the machine on a tray. Anchor dishes into each tray, face down, angled like this. You can think of an airplane taking off, so they will clean properly in the machine and not fill up with water. Gently push the loaded tray about three or four inches into the dish machine until you feel it start to pull automatically. When the dishes come out of the dryer, check to be sure they are actually clean. If not, send them back to rinse, scrub, and rewash. Be careful, dishes will be very hot. Shake off excess water and move the clean dishes to the drying rack to air dry. Never let clean dishes touch the metal counter between the dish machine and the dryer racks. And never dry clean dishes by hand. They can be put away damp. You can rest the empty dish trays on a mat just under the main doors of the dish machine so they are ready to use. Very important. Greasy sheet pans need to be well rinsed and sprayed before they go through the dish machine. This is critical. Just like we did with the other dishes, you will need to scrape leftover food and grease from the sheet pans into the trash can. Next, spray, scrub, and respray the pans until you remove as much residue as you can. Then, decide whether to wash the pan in the dish machine or the big sink, depending on how baked on the food is. If it's fairly clean, put it through the dish machine. If it's baked on, place it in the first sink to soak. Next, let me show you how we wash dishes in the three-part sink. The cardinal rule is each person is responsible for cleaning his or her own knife safely by dipping it in each compartment of the three-part sink and putting it back in a knife drawer in the kitchen, wet. No knives should be left in the dish room. So let's try to tackle these dirty dishes with stubborn food still stuck on them. At this point, you've already scraped and rinsed them as much as you possibly can in the main sink. Now, wash the prepped dishes in the first sink. Allow them to soak if needed. Next, you'll rinse the clean dishes in the second sink. Then, sanitize the rinsed dishes by putting them in the third sink to soak for one minute. Finally, shake off excess water and put the dishes on the drying rack to air dry. Remember, never dry clean dishes by hand. They can be put away damp. So now you can cycle the clean dishes back out to the kitchen and put them away so they're available for the volunteers to use again. Taking care of recycling is also one of the most important things that our dish room volunteers do. Be sure a large gray trash bag is hanging off the stack of dish trays behind the trash can. This will hold most items to be recycled. We like to spray rinse all recyclables thoroughly. They do not go through the dish machine. You should set aside glass to place in the green basket marked glass only in the hallway. Check with the staff to see if plastic round tubs and lids should be saved and reused. Put all the other recyclables in the main recycling bag. You can take this bag to the recycling bin outside, just past the trash bin at the southeast corner of the building, once it's full or at the end of the day. And don't forget about the trash. Empty all the small trash containers in the kitchen into the large trash barrels. Replace the bags only when necessary. Now you're ready for your first shift in the dish room. 
Thanks for taking time to learn the important parts of this mission at Second Helpings, where we are transforming lives through the power of food.